The most recent book is called Power Branding, and so I thought talking to college students it might be fun to talk about power branding your career, since you hopefully are thinking about beginning a career and what that might look like. And the reason I say that is because, like it or not, you are a brand. You're probably aware of that. And uh, I don't really like that term, you know, personal branding, have you heard that term? There's a book on it. The whole thing. To me, it sounds kind of uh, narcissistic. Nevertheless, uh, very often we use the word reputation as a synonym for brand, like a corporate reputation. And if you think of that, about that personally, we all have personal reputations, do we not? And you want your personal reputation to be good. You want to build it up, you don't want to tear it down. So if you think of it that way, it's not quite as narcissistic. The best definition of marketing I've ever heard, I wrote. <laughs> and it's this, marketing is reducing uncertainty. And I know that sounds really lame. Marketing is reducing uncertainty. Here's why it works. When you're faced with a consumer decision, or any kind of decision, immediately you're uncertain as to what your best option is. So, I'm going to buy a new car. Should I get that one, that one, that one, or that one? I want to hire somebody. Should I hire you, 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 or you? There's a need uncertainty. So, if you're applying for a job at Google, and they have their pick of the litter, as you know, they can hire anybody on the planet, they're uncertain. So, they've created some filters to try and filter people out. But what they're trying to do is reduce their uncertainty. They hire the right candidate. That's what everybody's trying to do. And that uncertainty can be reduced if you understand their context and their expectations. When you walk into a job interview, you're terrified, right? We all are. It's like, oh, they're going to hate me. Well, when you think about it, when a company has an opening, it's for one of two reasons. Either they lost somebody, and so they're in pain, they're trying to cover for that person. Or they need somebody because they're growing, and they're in pain. So I'll just give you a little insight. When you walk in the door, we desperately want you to be the, the one. We desperately want to like you. That contextualization alone might help you be more confident. We're not trying to rule you out. We're trying to rule you in. Your task when you're power branding your career is not only to understand the context and the expectations, but to reduce the risk of the person hiring you or interviewing you. The last thing I want to leave you with something that we say to our clients all the time. Strategy without execution is only theory. You can develop the most magnificent product launch plan, or marketing plan, or career development plan, or life plan. It's not worth it. It's just a plan. If you don't execute, and that's the hard part. One foot in front of another, overcoming discouragement, beating down the barriers, Getting up when you get knocked down, you gotta execute. Strategy without execution is only theory. Or, as Power Brady Principle number 70 says, don't say it, do it. And I'm done. It's 7.30. If you need to go, I'm fine with that. If you wanna stay, I'll stay. Thanks for the time.